Hello, my name is Karen Parker and I am an occupational therapy assistant studying to be an occupational therapist at Kaiser's MSOT Bridge Program. In this video, I would like to discuss the role of participations and occupations plays when treating Alzheimer's disease. Information for this video was gathered from Atchison and Durrett's Conditions and Occupational Therapy Effect on Occupational Performance. Before we begin discussing the role participation and occupation plays, I would first like to discuss what Alzheimer's is. Alzheimer's disease is a neurocognitive disorder that impacts all cognitive domains, including executive function, complex attention, learning and memory, social cognition, and perceptual motor. This is a progressive disease and is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. The progression of Alzheimer's can be divided into three stages, mild, moderate, and severe. As the disease progresses, it becomes more difficult for the client to engage in meaningful occupations and basic activities of daily living. That being said, it is crucial for occupational therapy practitioners to help facilitate participation in occupations for as long as possible. This will help improve the client's quality of life and also help to keep them active and engaged, thus promoting their independence. This can be anything from still participating in basic activities of daily living, such as dressing or bathing, to participating in meaningful occupations such as leisure activities like jigsaw, bingo, or cards. As the client's memory fades, it is essential to focus on the activities he or she still can do instead of focusing on what he or she cannot do. By focusing on maintaining the strengths of the client, occupational therapy practitioners and the client's family members can help to enrich the life of their loved one by promoting maximal performance in preferred activities and helping to prolong independence. Additionally, by helping to prolong independence, occupational therapy practitioners can also help promote wellness in the caregivers. Because Alzheimer's disease has a slow progression, it is likely that the family members will be acting as caregivers for a long time, possibly more than 10 years. This job will not only be physically draining, as their loved ones suffering from Alzheimer's will ultimately become immobile and incontinent, requiring dependent care, but also emotionally taxing as they watch their loved one decline. It is important as occupational therapy act practitioners to not only address the client, but also make sure to support the caregiver as well and educate them on important topics such as energy conservation, safety strategies, support systems available to them, and ways to prevent caregiver burnout. While mental health conditions are not always fully understood or accepted due to the negative stigma they retain in society and media, it is important for occupational therapy practitioners to advocate for their clients and to help promote an improved quality of life through participation in meaningful occupations. Thank you so much.